think you need this right about now. Three tips to be successful as a home buyer right now. And right now, I mean, it's November 3rd, 2022. Rates are high. I'm just going to give you a quick three tips so you know that these are things you need to focus on if you want to be successful. Because you can look and you can offer, but that doesn't mean that you're going to win in today's market. I know you think that it's trending back towards a buyer's market, but sellers are still stubborn because there was this huge prices for two years. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, know your monthly mortgage payments exactly for the price that you're offering. So if you're offering 500,000, that day you need to know what your rate is and what your monthly mortgage payments, whether they include PMI, et cetera. Because if you don't know that, you're gonna be confused as rates move. You have to know exactly, there's too many people making offers you know, with a pre-approval, 26 days old, and then they find out their monthly payment's going to go up $225 and they haven't accounted for that. So the day that you make an offer, you want to be in touch with your lender, make sure that you know exactly what your monthly payments are going to be on a regular basis, because that will help you decide. That also plays into number two. Number two is, <clears throat> listen, don't buy at the top of your price point. I know you want to because your price point probably shrank a little bit because the rates are so high. So your price point's coming down. But I'm telling you, when rates are going up, if you buy at the absolute top of your price point and you have not locked your rate and then rates go up again, you're not going to be able to afford the home that you're so excited to buy. And that's a disaster. So if your top is 700, I'd be looking lower. You know, if that's not the type of house you want, then you have to figure out what you can really afford in a crazy market. So I know that it's a tough time, but you cannot buy at your absolutely top. Like if your absolute top, the payment like that I said in number one, if your payment is maxed out and you're paying 700,000 for a house and that's like the max, like you can't afford anything else and you don't lock your rate for 14 days and it goes up another quarter point, you're gonna have to cancel the deal. And that's what's happening a lot. We're seeing a lot that uh, later, they haven't locked their rate, buyer can't close. You know, and that's a problem for everybody. It obviously hurts the seller, but it hurts buyer, they're ready to close. You have to really be looking underneath what your top is so that you know you have a little bit of room. You know, like at Starbucks, when people say leave room for milk or whatever, I don't know, I don't drink coffee, but I've heard people say it, leave a little room for milk in your offers. A little bit, you know, 700 your top, Try to be looking at houses where you're going to close out 675, 650, the best that you can do. Again, if those houses aren't what you like, you have to kind of figure out what's your buying power now. Do you want to wait it out or do you need to buy now? And do you have to make some concessions along the way? Whether that be size of the house, neighborhood, one or the other. Number three of three tips to help you be a better home buyer right now. This one's important. And I'm actually going to link to another video here about home inspections, but you need to understand, this is number three, understand the purpose of home inspections. Home inspections are not fishing expeditions. It's still a seller's market in most places. And you can't go into a home inspection thinking that you're gonna use it as a way to get money off the price because that's just not the right way to do things. Because what if the inspection's clean? If the inspection's clean, you're gonna just try to nickel and dime because you think you paid too much which goes back to number two, don't be at the top of your price point because then I know you, I know you, you're going to go to inspection and you're going to want to get some money back. And then you're going to start asking for dumb things, you know, like window sashes, you know, things that are not safety, fire issues, not hazardous, they're not environmental, they're not structural or foundational. They're just things that you want, like an HVAC that's end of life, but working fine. You're not getting a credit for that. And that's what that other video is going to show you. You have to understand it's not a fishing expedition. You want inspections to go well. And if you find some cosmetic things, you're not buying a new house in most cases. So those are going to be on you to fix anyway. So like relax, you have to go in with the right mindset. If you're ever, ever going into inspections, trying to get money back to save you money, you bought too high. Take it from me. My name is Jonathan Green. I run a big real estate team called Streamline Properties on Market. We're brokered by eXp Realty. We do more than 200 deals a year. We work with tons and tons of home buyers every week. And these are just my three best tips that can help you right now in late 
Well, no, sorry, it's early November 2022 with rates rising. I hope these are helpful. Have a great day.